Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome back to another series in LifeWire. Right, I've just updated my view a bit and this is what we have right here. So just to more for aesthetics than anything else, so don't worry. So if you still have the welcome view, no problem. You can do the exact same thing in the welcome view. All right, now a user just asked us if we can create in our LifeWire the course we're going to add a little bit later we're going to do a full CRUD application with Jetstream and LifeWire only so we're not going to use controllers or anything like that in order to do that all right so that's what we're going to do all right so just to mention that as well so look forward to that in the coming lessons all right now the next thing that I want to show you the format of the course I'm going to follow the documentation so let's go there quickly Right, so I'm going to follow the documentation. We are making a components, rendering components. The next thing will be properties. But now, as you can see, some of the things will overlap with one another. Let's say in this case, we want to do a redirect. I obviously going to make a component again that I'm going to render. I'm going to create some properties and add some actions and probably fire off some events. So some of those things will be repeated again, but this is kind of the the trend that I will follow. So if you want to know more or less what to expect next, just look at the documentation and I will follow that. But I will obviously add a little bit different things so that you can, if, you're, if your mind just see something else again, it will maybe grasp the concept a little bit better. All right, so this is a beginner series, so I'm going to take my time, take it slowly so that we can learn the new concepts. All right, enough of that. So let's quickly go to our LifeWire component and actually create work with the properties. Right, so in our LifeWire component right here, there are three properties that I'm going to be talking about. We're going to have a public property. Right, we've got a public property, we've got a private property and a protected property. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, let's say we create a public property, all right? And this is going to equal to, let's say, name all right let's say let's 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 create a couple because i want to let's say first name in this case all right so in LifeWire, let me just uncomment this so they don't give us a problem the public property first name will be automatically be assigned to our view right here so if we create a public property right there first name in our user details the view right here it will be automatically be available so what i can do now is i can just go there and just put in first name all right i don't have to actually pass the variable like this so in this case let's say first name all right and this first i don't have to do this you can but you don't have to, all right? I'm going to get back to this part. So I'm just going to uncomment it for now. So let's see if the first name is available. So I'm going to assign the first name to be actually Jenna, all right? And let's see if it's available in our main page. So as you can see, nothing changed. Just to prove that this is actually coming from a LifeWire component, I'm just going to change this to something else. Let's do something silly and just change this to a smiley face. All right, so let's see if that renders. Now, as you can see, Smiley Jones is the name of the person right now. All right, quite nice. All right, so we know this is actually coming from our component right there. All right, so I will just quickly change this back to Jenna. And let's say, if, what if we do pass it through the view like this? Okay, let's see what happens. As you can see, you get no errors, nothing. So you can either pass it, leave it at the public property, or you can pass it to the view. I would not even recommend it to pass it to the view. This is just unnecessary extra work, as LifeWire handles that already for you. But here's the another thing. Now let's say we, let me uncomment this. Let's say instead of a public property, we're going to make it a private property. Now let's see if we have it still available for us. So if we make it a private property, let's go to the browser and see if we're actually displaying Jenna right now. 
Now, as you can see, it says undefined variable first name. All right, but there is a solution to this problem if you want to, but please bear with my silliness. I won't recommend doing this, but let's go. Okay, because there's a reason why you would sometimes want to make something private, but let me just uncomment this. Now I'm passing that first name actually to the view right here. Let's see if it if it does update. Now, as you can see, Jenna Jones is being displayed. We get no errors, but now the thing is, with LiveWire, public properties will be available right here. You don't have to pass them through to, to the view. It will be automatically assigned. All right. The next thing, with private and protected properties, that's not the case. Just to prove it. All right. So let's do the last one. And let's just change this one to protected and see if it happens the same way. Let's just do that. Protected. So I'm a little bit silly right now, but please bear with me. All right, so I will not do this in a production, okay? But let me just show you that, okay? So let's save that and go to the browser. As you can see, it does the same thing, all right? All right, so let me un so let me uncomment the variable and see. Now, as you can see right here, it displays it, okay? Now, protected and private variables have their place in. Obviously, LifeWire and in PHP. Now, the thing is, if you want to persist data, let's say you want to store something, you're going to use LifeWire to do that because that's why you're going to use LifeWire because it needs to update or store information from the front end. All right. In that case, I will not recommend you, if you want to store data, to use public or protected properties. Rather, only use public properties all right now public properties can be stored in a number of ways you can let me say there's certain names let me just start off with this there's certain names that's reserved for LifeWire. okay like there's certain names reserved for php now in this case id is one of them rules okay and messages okay these these names are reserved for LifeWire, so don't use them, all right, in a sense to actually create your own variable, all right, you're going to get an error, okay, you're going to run into a little bit of problems. The next thing is, data stored in public properties are visible to the JavaScript front. Now, let's say you've got a user that, let's say, for instance, user details, you create a variable for user, all right, now the user have certain fields in the database like credit card information, um, where they stay, or whatever things are private, ID numbers, or whatever the case may be. And you don't want that information to be public. Now, understand this if you create a public variable, that information will be available to the front end. All right. So, in that case, don't put out the whole user. In that case, just do the parts of the user information. Like in this case, I put a public variable first name because I only want to be dealing with the first name. I will only put those details to the front end. Okay, so just remember that when you create a public variable and the user has sensitive information that you store, please don't make the whole thing public. Just take out the bits of information that you are okay with to be made public. All right, so enough of that. The next thing is property can only be JavaScript friendly. All right, string, integers, and arrays, and booleans. All right, that's JavaScript friendly. All right, another thing is they can be the following PHP types, stringables, collections, daytime, model, and eloquent collection. All right, the meaning, let me just show you about model. So we can actually do a public property and actually assign a post as post, like this. Okay, we can do that. All right, no, but we're gonna get them, I'm running ahead of myself, but we're gonna get to that part as well. All right, in the case is we can create a public property like this, Jenna, and we let's just create another one for last name. And the last name is, last name is Storms. 
Right, so let's, let me, I can remove this because we're creating public properties and they will be automatically available to our view right there. This needs to be last name like that. All right, now the next thing what we can do is let's just go here into our view and actually render that last name right here. Like this. Okay, so let's see if it updates. As you can see, nothing changes because it's coming directly from LiveWire now. There's another way that we can actually assign properties from our property, assign a value to our properties, and we can use the mount method to do that. All right, so let's quickly, let we created our public property. All right, now the public property is available to the front end, and let's quickly create a public function, and this is going to be a mount method. You have to think of your mount method like the construct method in PHP. So let me quickly open up my post controller. And we got a construct method here. You remember when we initialize the, the controller or the class, we will do that with the construct method. Okay. Now in this case, we got a mount method right here. Then we can do like this. This dot first name. Uh, first name. We can assign it a variable like, let's say in this case, John Doe. No, just John. Okay, because we got another one for last name. And this dot last name is equal to Doe. Right? Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because later on, I'm just jumping a little bit ahead of myself, but I want to. We can bring in the user model. Okay, and then we can assign the user variable, and then we can assign these properties to that user. All right, so just bear with me. All right, so that's why we're taking it baby steps so that we learn everything as we go along. All right, so we did that for now. So let's quickly go to the front end and actually see if we actually display this information instead of uh, Jenna Jones. Now, as you can see, we got John Doe being displayed right there quite nice all right so what we're going to do in the next in this part is we're going to be able to let's say you don't want to fill the properties like that you want to assign them just for more aesthetics a little bit better we can do that as well so let's go there's another useful method in lifewire where you can use this dot fill okay and then we can fill in with an array we can fill in a couple of details we can just do it like this so like first name sign it and we can just sign it in array like john okay just do it like john and the last name you know what i'm going to reassign this actually to jenna jones jenna stones uh stones Because the image doesn't display a John Doe. Right, so we can do that as well. We can set the full property just to be more aesthetically pleasing, but it does the same thing what we've done before. Right, so let's go. And as you can see, if we refresh, you will see now we have Jenna Jones. Right, so in the next part, what we will do is we will do some data binding. All right. So to make things a little bit more dynamic, instead of actually having to type in the information in the, in the component itself, we're going to have an input field or something somewhere. If we type that information, it will correspond and update live right there. All right. So that's what we're going to do in the next one. And yes, if you like the video, guys, please give it a like. If you don't, please give it a dislike. Constructive, negative, suggestions, positive. Whatever feedback you have or whatever suggestions you have, please leave it for me in the comment section. Even if we have to make the series a hundred lessons, that we don't mind as long as we learn something. All right. Thank you guys and see you in the next one. Goodbye.